everybody, it's Ryan and I'm coming to you with day 25 of 30 inks, 30 days. And um, we have some um, nighttime lighting. Um, I found a cord for my lamp. And um, I didn't know that I was going to have a chance to record earlier today. And so I didn't record because I didn't realize it was available time. And now it's nighttime. <laughs> And so, um, yeah, so I'm recording. So we have some nighttime lighting, um, but you get to see the purple week in another light. You get to see that shimmer and that sheen. Purple week was really lovely. I loved how it turned out. Still amazed that this is not tacky or sticky. Um, but yeah, so we had some really great, we had some really great inks last week, honestly. I think my favorite was probably the Scribo. Um, I really love this one as well, um, and this one was really fun to to work with. This ink swatch is kind of weird, but um, the ink was really lovely. I did some um, lyrics copying, um, and then here is our splats, all dried. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, so I've been like excited. I haven't filled out the calendar for the last two days yet. I meant to do that, and then I sat down to record and realized I hadn't done it. I was like, eh, whatever, I'll, I'll fill it out. But we have the full week on the on the page here, and it's lovely. I love that every single purple is different. And um, actually, I this pen has already written dry. I thought I had more ink in it than I did, and I went to go write something with it, and it it, it didn't write because it was empty. <laughs> so I had I had literally enough to use for that one day, which is like never happens. But anyway, we're on to the next week, the very end. Um, the 30th Saturday is our last day for 30 inks. And the next week I'm going to, over the weekend, um, I'm going to take time to like put together um, inks for comparisons. And then we will do a big giant comparison video uh, showcasing all the inks from this month compared to other inks that I might have in my collection. So I'm looking forward to that. It's going to take some time to put together, so but it'll be up um, sometime, sometime next week. Like I work from home on Tuesdays and Fridays, so I don't know, at some point, some point this week that um, uh, comparison video will be up. Um, I don't know when, I don't want to promise things I can't promise, but yeah, but today, but today I've been very excited about today's ink. Today's ink is, um, I found it when I was looking for samples for something else, and I found this, also I was cleaning, I was, I was doing a bunch of stuff and I was going through a bunch of samples, but I just found the sample of Robert Oster Rivers of Blood. It's this pretty red ink, um, I've never used it before, um, it looks really nice in what I've seen so far, yeah. It's pretty red ink. I've never used it before, but I saw it because I've been playing Elden Ring, as you know, I've mentioned it a few times, and there's a weapon in the game called Rivers of Blood, and if you play Elden Ring, uh, you may be familiar with it, especially if you've gotten invaded, um, or have done invading, um, but it's kind of a, it's kind of a, it's kind of a hacked out weapon. It's not really hacked, but um, it pretty much murders anything in sight and um lots of pvpers use it and just anyway it it looks really cool but also it's kind of annoying so anyway um i found this ink and it made me think of the weapon and it just i was like oh i can do like an elden ring stream and or not a stream an elden ring um an Elden Ring themed uh, ink day and um, the game came out on February 25th so it's the two month anniversary of Elden Ring coming out. I've beaten it one time. I've played like 376 hours um, on PlayStation. I played like six or seven hours on PC. Um, uh, but yeah, I just thought that'd be super fun. I've been telling all my gamer friends about it. They're really excited. I have some of the most supportive gamer friends, by the way. I'm going to link some of them in the description box so you can go check them out on Twitch. They're freaking amazing. I love each and every one of them. Um, but yeah, but I was like, well, what pen do I put in it? I was thinking about cleaning out my uh, black matte vanishing point that we had earlier in the month. Um, I have, I don't have many red pens. Um thought about like maybe cleaning out the Lamy studio but I still have some Irish green in it and I really like how it writes out of that pen so I was like no 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 um I could have like cleaned out my red Twisby or whatever but then I remembered I have a pen 
<laughs> I don't think I've ever shown on the channel because I wasn't going to get it, but it's thematically appropriate. And um, we have the uh, Twisby Draco, which um, is this beautiful, um, it's black and red, um, like acrylic, um, I don't, I don't actually know what the material is, but it's freaking gorgeous. It's freaking gorgeous. I don't know. My camera's a little too high up, so I can't see exactly how it's showing up um, in this lighting, but has an ink window, has um, rose gold, metal, like finishing. It's really pretty. It was limited edition. I think you can still get them. I've had it for a while and it's been sitting in the box. I think I took it out of the box and used it I was gonna say I'd never used it, but I think I used it one time and then like cleaned it out because I didn't want it to sit around because I was like, oh, I was thinking I might return it, I might sell it, I don't know, but um, yeah, but I figure it's thematically appropriate. It's red ink, it goes with the red pen. Draco is dragon, there's dragons in the game, there's rivers of blood in the game. I don't know, it's thematic. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it, okay? Um, so yeah, so anyway, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. An Elden Ring, a loosely Elden Ring themed ink. And I'm going to zoom in on this. And um, yeah, I have a medium nib on this, on this nib. And um, yeah, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of like the Leonardo pens. If you are, um, if you are familiar with those has a similar like weight and feel to it in my personal opinion um, 25 22 ink this is actually a really nice wet ink rivers of Blood. Okay, so being from Robert Oster, the ink it probably has some sort of Australian connection to it. Um, it's some sort of like part of Australian history or whatever, but um, this is the Twisby Draco, and I have a medium nib on it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've never used the ink, and it made me think of Elden Ring, and I'm super like obsessed with Elden Ring and so yeah that's what we're gonna do I it's actually a pretty bright red it's a pretty bright red looks like it has some shading in that five um it is very wet out of the pen which is interesting for Robert Oster inks a lot of times they are a little on the dry side um, I have air bubbles in the in the reservoir, which is why I'm pulling, I keep pulling the ink. Um, but yeah, but actually Robert Oster Reds, they have another red, a candy red, or it's red candy that I really like. Yep, see there wasn't enough ink in that. I'm gonna do another. Do another little bit on this. On this spot here. There we go. That's better. It's more of a pinky red, I would say. Or maybe it's like a true, I don't know, it's a true red red. And it looked kind of pink in the lighter bits. I don't know. It's pretty though. It's pretty though. I feel like Color Rush Dirty Red reminds me more of, that makes me think of more of the Rivers of Blood weapon. It's a darker red, has some black sort of in it a little bit, um, but this is a nice, like, bright, it's a nice bright red. Looks like, it kind of looks like there's some, like, haloing around the edges of the letters a little bit, perhaps, but we'll see once the swatch dries what it actually looks like. I'm very excited to be using this today. Although a red ink at work all day may not be the best, but whatever it is what it is. Thankfully, I don't need my work notes for anything. 
I used to have to notarize stuff, but now um, I work in divisions where I am not authorized to be a notary. So I do not have to worry about that. Oh, you didn't see any of that. I'm so sorry. I missed a spot that kind of bothers me. That stuff doesn't usually bother me, but that it, it bothers me like being right in the middle of this watch. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the writing. of space in this box here. It's a nice ink, I think. I don't know that I'm in love with it, but um, it writes out of the pen nicely. It's a really nice, it's a nice red. I especially like it wet. I don't know how, how like fond of it I am once it dries, but when it's right out of the pen it looks really nice looks like we are getting some like sort of like brown around the edges a little bit but obviously we have to wait until it is completely dry to make that sort of distinction but yes this is my combination for today I'm very excited about it I'm very excited about it excited to get to use this pen it feels really nice um, it's a little spendy especially for a Twisby but um, yeah, I think it's nice. The material's really pretty. I'm glad I caved and got it. I don't know why I say I'm not getting things because I always get them. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, to all my gamer friends, you're amazing and I love you and you should definitely check them out. If you like watching gameplay, they don't all play Elden Ring but they have all played Elden Ring at some point. Um, you should definitely check them out in the description box below. And um, yeah, if you are, have you, if you're playing Elden Ring, have you beaten the game yet? I know I keep like bringing it up. Um, I've had some people in the comments that have beaten it and stuff, um, which is awesome. I love that. So yeah, I am, I just started a new game plus playthrough on my PlayStation character because I want it to be super OP with my magic stuff, so, um, yeah, it's kind of fun. I've already beaten through, um, like, the, like, two first main, main, main bosses. Um, I don't want to spoil anything in case people still haven't played it. It's only two months old. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, it's really exciting. I'm super excited about it. Anyway. I'm rambling now, so that means it's time to go. I hope that you have a wonderful Monday, and I will see you again tomorrow with another 30 inks, 30 days. Not sure. Actually, I have a couple of ideas of what I'm going to use. Um, I'm recording the Sunday night, so I don't know if I've gotten any of my stuff in the mail on Monday yet. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting stuff in the mail, like my Twisby and my 50 States inks. Very exciting. Anyway. I've started saying bye like 53 times. I'm going to actually go now and let you get on with your day. Have a wonderful Monday. Have a wonderful week. I will see you again tomorrow with another 30 inks, 30 days. And um, yeah, let me know what you're using today in the comments if you feel like it. I'd love to know. Um, yeah, I like knowing what people are using and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Um, I'll see you again for the 53rd time. <laughs> Take care. Love you. Bye.